Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the Bootstrap Free series. In this part we're going to be looking at fixed versus fluid layouts. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. So our fixed and fluid lay layouts. Well up till now, we have been using a fixed layout and we didn't even know about it. Well, well obviously I did, but it wasn't really explained and that's because it was leading up to this tutorial. To put it simply, a fixed layout has a maximum screen width of 1200 pixels, which we have discussed earlier on, like the extra small and small, medium, large, and large is 1200 pixels, which is for large columns, but a fluid layout doesn't have a, have a mixed width apart from the browser width. So if your browser is below 1200 pixels, then it just uses the other sort, like medium, small, or just large and, and extra small. But if it's above 1200, it's still considered large, but then instead of the columns stopping from adjusting, they keep going. This, the, using a fluid layout, the 12 grid column is still in effect, but it takes up the browser width instead. That's literally all you need to know. So let's change our website to use the fluid layout. This is really easy and only requires a single line of code to be changed. We don't even need to add anything, it's just a modification. So let's just open up index.html in a text editor. If we go to where we've got container, instead of putting container, we put container that actually is going to run our website so you can see what it looks like. As you see, we've got box one, two, three, four, five, six, and we resize normally. But if we go back to Sublime, and to change it to fluid layer, you just put dash fluid, save, refresh, and as you can see, it's adjusted to the width. And no matter how big this browser is now, whether it's 1500 pixels wide or 25, 60 pixels wide, it will just adjust to the browser width. That's, that is really is all you need to know. And what we're going to do is I'll show you a few different websites. Let's go on eBay, .co.uk, that doesn't really matter which one you go on. This, even though this really isn't responsive, the main reason it, it isn't, is simply because they have a mobile app and it's actually very good. So, but this is uses a fixed layout in terms of it's it's sort of centered. So on this browser or on this screen, I've got the resolution set to 1280 by 720, so it covers most of the browser. But if you set your browser or your sorry your display resolution to let's say 2560, which is the native resolution of my iMac, then what would happen? It would just appear in the middle like that. And that was the standard for old websites. And the reason that was the standard was simply because a lot of computers out there didn't have high resolution. Therefore, if they got an span 2000 pixels or something crazy like that, then a lot of users would be alienated and wouldn't be able to get the full user experience. But now with responsive design, you can give the people who have a bigger monitor with higher resolutions, more real estate to work with, and people, let's say, who have lower resolutions, or they're on a mobile device, because mobile devices are very popular now, you can use responsive design so it fits accordingly. I'm going to show you another website. It's This one's going to be Amazon. And this, if you were to display this on a bigger resolution, it basically has a bit of responsiveness to it and it extends all the way. So if I just resize it, as you can see there were five items here, which are books, but there were five items and when I resize it, it bumps down from four, three, but that's it, it doesn't go any further. So there's an element of responsive design and the element of fluid design. Again, Amazon doesn't have a fully responsive website. One of the main reasons is they have a great app. Let's go on Google finally, google.co.uk, and this, let's just search for something PS4. This is fully responsive in, or oh, what I should say, it's more fully fluid, it extends to the end, whereas this would go really far to the right, and this would just stay round about here if this was at the native resolution of my monitor. PS4, Advanced Warfare, Blocks, SharePlay. I'll have a look at that later. And if we go into images, images uses a responsive layout to an extent. So if I start resizing, images resize, plus also the manner images on one row adjust as well, but only to a certain extent, very similar to Amazon. So I just want to show you a few different websites and how they use a very responsive design and how they use something similar to, well, 
fluid design. So that's fluid design. The next tutorial will cover columns within columns. It's like Inception. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.